Well good afternoon and welcome to Eggs Orchids. Now the plant you see in front of you, if you remember, well I've had it years actually from a small plant. This is an Angraecum vecchii, but it used to be a very big plant, but the bottom leaves started dropping off and dropping off and dropping off until I finished up I had to saw through it and uh, just save the top bit. Now this has been at least 12 months ago and I potted it up and I haven't had a look at it since so I don't know whether any roots are growing or what's happening to it. So we'll just take it out of the pot and uh, we'll see what's happening. As you can see it was a very big plant. Two, three. So we'll just take some of these from the top and see if we can get to the uh, where the roots start. And see if there are any roots. Yep, see one there. It's probably a little too too dry, I think. But uh, it seems to be. Doing okay. It seems to have had a soak. And now it's waking up from the soak. So we're not going to disturb it only by uh, moving these. Yep, yeah, this is fine. I've just noticed that now. Right, I'll get the uh, camera and we can have a good look at them. Right I'm, right, I'm not going down any deeper. That'll do for me, but you can see it's got uh, nice roots there, some nice roots here. Nice route going down there and some more around the rim of the pot. And that's all in uh, 12 months from having virtually nothing. So what I think I should do with this is just put all these uh, large bark back in. And just put it back and give it a good water in. That is Angraecum vecchii. Oh, we'll just have a quick look round and have a look at things. And oh yeah, look, the last of the uh, ambient fire has just dropped off. There we are. So that's the last of that till next year. The second bud on this uh, Corolla Ordenauer is uh, taking ages for it to develop. Because when they come out, at, uh, and there's two flowers on the stem, they look absolutely gorgeous. Fritz Schomburg, they're waiting to come out. It generally comes out for Christmas. So that'll be uh, nice and cheerful. Give us something to uh, look at at Christmas instead of the, some uh, brick walls in the house. Well, I'm going to repot this Dracula as well. I don't like what I put it in before, I mean I was just playing around with it and seeing what to do and nothing's happened, it hasn't grown much so I'm going to put it up from where it is now and I'm going to put it up into one of these so that should be okay. I'll use uh, some new bark and uh, a bit of, bit of chopped up sphagnum. Right, we'll take it out of its pot Uh, it's in very loosely and nothing happening with the roots. The roots are absolutely terrible. So we'll empty this lot out. Put it all in one side. I don't think it's been getting enough air myself. Yep, 
yeah, it's not good for the roots at all. I like roots much better than this. Uh, so I shall uh, pot it up in something different and uh, hope it does okay in that. I think it should do. Nice Dracula though. Draculite Solii. Well we've got some new bark there and some uh, grow stones so I'll just put it in that and I'll just chop a little bit of uh, moss up to put in with it. So we've got some nice moss here, I don't think I need to chop this up, I'll just pull it apart like this, which is fine, mix it all together. Get the pot. about right. A bit more moss in there. Some bark. Raw stones. Good mixture that. They're a bit flimsy these pots but uh, they'll do the job. And they you get held on by the hangers, which uh, which fits nicely around the rim. So we'll not do any more to that. We'll just put the uh, the rim back on. clips under there quite nicely and it should do. Yeah it has done. Put this one about here. Put the labels back in and uh, that's enough for that one. Well that was just a short video but thank you very much for watching and thanks to my subscribers and until next time I'll see you all later. Bye.